Hello, Larry Whitmer here, bringing you the skull of a hyacinth macaw, the largest of all living uh, macaw species. Uh, this specimen was uh, carefully dissected by doctoral student James Nassif, and I just pulled it out of the dermestid colony and out of the, uh, the cleansing bath of hydrogen peroxide and ammonia. So if we remove the mandible here for a second and carefully slide off the ramphotheca, we can get a really good look at this beautiful hyacinth macaw skull and in particular focus on this mechanism for cranial kinesis, allowing it to, to elevate its upper jaw and retract it powerfully relative to the, the, to the, to the brain case. In many birds, this motion of, of prokinesis involves flexion zones or bending zones within the bone. But in many of the large parrots, like this macaw, they've turned those bending zones into fully synovial joints. So if we pull it over here and look at it in ventral view a little bit, we can see that the right side, the jugal bar is a little bit detached. We'll get that fixed as it starts to dry. But a very impressive amount of cranial kinesis. It's true that this is probably exaggerated uh, relative to what the animal would, might be doing in life. Um, but still, very impressive uh, cranial kinesis. Hyacinth macaw. Wonderful.